So what is a mast cell? So we have actually talked about mast cells in the past, Courtney. A mast cell is a part of our immune system and it's a white blood cell. So everyone has mast cells in their body and they actually play many roles in keeping us healthy. They protect us from in foreign invaders like germs and parasites, and they also participate in the inflammatory response, which is an important part of how we protect our body. So mast cells are also called the allergy cell because they are also responsible for immediate allergic reactions. So mast cells cause symptoms of allergies by releasing products called mediators. And mediators are basically chemicals that are stored inside of them. And so histamine is one of those mediators. And we definitely know what histamine is. <laughs> We've talked about it a lot on our podcast. It uh, causes hives. It causes a lot of the symptoms that we associate with allergies. And again, everyone has mast cells. And although they are helpful in the immune system, they can also cause problems and lead to allergic reactions and anaphylaxis. And just so I can clarify again, so I'm on the same page with everyone. Mast cells really have a specific function, and that's to protect us against parasites, germs, and sometimes something happens, and that's an allergic reaction, and that's the mast cell reacting to something that's not like a germ, but maybe a food. Can you just elaborate a little bit more about this, Dr. G? Yes, exactly. So first you need to understand that our body uses receptors on cells to communicate with the cell and to tell it when it should become activated. And so with that in mind, mast cells have lots of different receptors on them and the mast cell is waiting to get triggered by the activation of these receptors. So during an allergic reaction, our body essentially communicates with the mast cell because of IgE antibodies that bind to IgE receptors that are present on the mast cell. These IgE antibodies see the allergen that the IgE antibody is specific for, and then once that allergen protein binds to the IgE and the IgE receptor complex, that binding causes the mast cell to be activated. And then the mast cell degranulates or releases all of the chemicals it stores inside of it that causes the reaction. So in terms of food allergy, because that's basically what I, I know the best, I know that histamine is a part of our allergic reaction. So when you say degranulate and there's a release of chemicals, is histamine then one of those chemicals that the mast cell releases? Yes. So degranulate means that the mast cell opens up and releases a bunch of chemicals. And one of those chemicals is histamine. But there are so many chemicals that get released. And many of those chemicals then communicate with other cells that results in basically a downward cascade of inflammation, which is how the body tries to rid itself of infection and harm. So one analogy that I've seen that's used is, I think, super helpful, and that's of a pinata. So think of the pinata as the mast cell and then the allergen and IgE combo as the stick and the person holding the stick that hits the pinata and causes the release of all the candy, but in this case, it's all the chemicals. And the chemicals then go on to cause chaos, like candy can cause chaos in the brains of little kids. That's a great analogy. That's really hilarious to think of like a swarm of children running like crazy to all of these candies. And that's that's indeed chaotic and that's indeed a, a reaction. <laughs> so can you explain to us then if anything else can cause this chain of events other than just an allergen? So is there anything else that can be a stick, say, in your analogy? Yes. So medications, infections, and venom from bees and other stinging insects, those can also be triggers. And what is important to note is that these responses are carried up by normal mast cells that are not desirable. So this is known as secondary activation because it is caused by an external stimuli. Okay, so I think that we understand how a mast cell works. Just to be clear, a germ would be more of a desirable, if you dare, 
a thing to degranulate the mast cell, but an allergen isn't desirable and you called it secondary activation. 